Welcome to episode seven of Ask the Pumper Dude. Everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of Ask the Pumper Dude. Uh, <laughs> I gotta first say, don't try this at home. Uh, there were just some minor injuries that took place. We're okay. I think I'm a very bad example for my sons, but we'll talk about that later. What we're really discussing today though is uh, the, the difference between uh, Schedule 20 pipe and Schedule 40 pipe. And we're talking about PVC pipe. Uh, these are two common pipes that are used in uh, ins installation of septic tanks and uh, drain fields. Um, one common uh, repair that, that we're called out to make is when uh, homeowners are experiencing a uh, backup situation into the house. Uh, the, the process that we typically go through uh, is we'll first examine the septic tank and in this uh, situation what we're going to find is that the level the, op the the water level in the tank is higher than it should be so the the normal operating in the septic tank should be right at the bottom of the outlet line that goes out to the drain field and that's typically going to be about 8 to 12 inches down from the top of the tank so in this this scenario we're, what we'll find is that that water level is right up to the top of the tank and the first thing that that tells us is that there's an issue with drainage between the uh, septic tank and the drain field. And what, what that also tells us is it eliminates um, the source of the issue being in the house, in the plumbing. So we know that it's something on the septic side and uh, we will start to go through the evaluation process to narrow down where the issue is. So from that point, what we usually recommend is having a drain field inspection done. Um, that's the more common issue that you're going to find when the, the level is high in the tank. Uh, but we start there. If, if the drain field checks out that it's good, uh, then we know that we've, we've narrowed down the, um, you know, the, we've isolated where the, the issue is, and it's between the, the septic tank and the drain field. And almost 100% of the time when we've narrowed it down to that uh, area between the septic tank and the drain field uh, we know that we're, we're going to be dealing with a schedule 20 pipe that was installed um, code in the counties around us call for schedule 40 to be installed uh, from the tank to the drain field and what i want to do is i want to show you the difference uh, between uh, those two pipes and, you, and you'll immediately have an understanding of of why the schedule 40 is going to be better than the schedule 20. Um, so what we have are a couple of those pieces of pipe. And the first one is the one we tried to show you how, how flimsy it was by jumping on it. Um, and you can see that it actually, it bent. And, and, and this is actually a perfect illustration of, of what will happen in the ground uh, when this is installed. So what we typically find is that the Schedule 20 pipe was laid on air. And what we mean by that is that pipe's going to be sitting in the ground here and it's going to be laying on dirt here. It's going to be laying on dirt here, but in the middle, they didn't pack it in properly underneath and there's a, an air gap here. And over the course of time, um, mother nature is going to take over and gravity and that settling is going to occur a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. And we're going to have that pipe start to bend like this and it will actually It'll, it'll bend to a point where you can see no water and certainly no solids are going to get through here. And 
So we'll also find situations where um, this pipe actually cracks all the way along the top and it, don't, it kind of starts to turn inside out. That earth on top will actually crush the pipe all the way along the, the edge and it, it'll plug right up. So what we do is we'll, we'll excavate, uh, uh, uncover that line and we'll, we'll just replace it with Schedule 40. Um, the, the sad thing is that if it was installed with the proper pipe right from the, the get-go, uh, would never have needed to be dealt with again. So I want to give you a close-up look here of the end of these two different types of pipe. So again, this is, this is Schedule 20, and if you can see, it actually flexes in my hands. I mean, you can see how I can actually just crush, crush that pipe. So you can see how easy the earth will have with, with affecting that. And this one is the Schedule 40 pipe. You can see how much thicker that wall is. And I can all day long, I will never, ever, ever make that bend. Um, and so, I mean, uh, it's obvious that this, this pipe is going to hold up a lot longer, almost for eternity, in the ground. So, the moral of the story is, make sure that your contractor is using the appropriate materials for the job. Um, ask the questions. Um, what type of pipe are you going to use for your installation? Um, it's typical uh, for the Schedule 20. Sometimes it's called sewer and drain pipe. Um, it's typical for that to be used in the drain field itself, but not from the house to the tank or from the tank to the drain field. Um, that's where you're going to want the Schedule 40 pipe. Uh, so just make sure that that your contractor is, er, that they're using the the highest quality materials uh, so that you don't have to deal with that down the road. Uh, if you have any questions on that or if I can clarify it, let us know um, and uh, we'll be happy to answer some more questions in the future. So thanks for joining us on Ask the Pumper Dude. Uh, my name is Jake Chamberlain with DNJ Septic Services. We're in South Lyon, Michigan and uh, we're happy to be here for you. Have a great day.